exclusive contract from Felu Novel Network Novel. Cayman 55. Adding flower friends to start Invincible, Lu Chen traveled to the world of Cayman Rider 555. In this world where Afiino is everywhere and full of danger, fortunately, it has been linked to the friend adding system. As long as you become friends with the original characters, you can receive various rewards. Nagata not flower. Crane Afieno. Archangel form. Kikugahara Yuji. Maya Fi Eno. Tenma form. Truth. Cayman Rider Fui's next Fui's form. Qian Xiao. Wolf Afieno. Serious form. Jia Hua. Lu Chen is my true family. Truth. Friend. Do I want to go further? Kimura Saya. Can I be your wife? Kitazaki. Make friends with me. An interesting person. Murakami Syar. Why can this guy be so powerful? Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Lu Chen Friend Flowers Evolutionary Forms You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Jia Hua Lu Chen, I am very happy to chat with you. Thank you. Also Flower Knot Good morning, Lu Chen Good morning I'm also very happy to chat with the beautiful Miss Nagata Jihua. Not flower. Where? Where is there? Lu Chen. Nodding flowers is already beautiful, there's no need to be shy. Besides, our relationship is now friends, right? Jia Hua. Of course it is. As long as Lu Chen doesn't mind. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully becoming friends with Nagata Hana and receiving the character's reward. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining all the power of Hiafino, including three forms of combat, flight, and passion. Ding. Congratulations to the host for receiving additional rewards. Hiopino. Angel form. Name. Angelic Afieno. Introduction. As the host and Nagata form flowers and become friends, they obtain the evolved form of Hiopino. Angel form, which is stronger than the passionate form. New ability 1. The host's internal energy has a healing effect, which can effectively treat injuries and relieve negative effects. New ability 2. Host can 100% awaken someone to become Afianor. As the system prompted the sound, a warm current emerged in Lu Chen's abdomen and quickly spread towards his limbs. His whole body is undergoing changes, and every cell in his body is gaining strength. Not long after, the change came to an end. Lu Chen exhaled a mouthful of turbid air, as if a star's eyes were shining with a brilliant light, and clenched his fist. Undoubtedly, it is Afiino, much stronger than human power, murmured Lu Chen. He has now gained the power of Hiopino and can change as he pleases. Although he Alfei Yaino is not very strong, for Lu Chen, who was originally just an ordinary person. I am already very satisfied. At least not easily killed. It has been three days since Lu Chen arrived in the world of Cayman Rider 555 wearing this outfit. The reason for the journey is unknown, and Lu Chen is not in the mood to figure it out. After all, the world of 555 is full of dangers, even passers-by are very dangerous. Lu Chen is worried about his own safety before it's too late, so there's no time to worry about how to cross the border. Anyway. It's time to travel. Fortunately, he obtained the system. Add friend system. The function of the system is very simple, as long as you can become friends with the characters in Cayman Rider 555, even if it is just a verbal promise from the other party. Lu Chen can receive rewards. There are three types of rewards. One is character rewards, which come from the character themselves and will be the most relevant thing to them. 
And, you can obtain the future of the character or things that have been lost or have not been controlled. For example, Nagata Hana, although she is not yet Hiopino, she will be in the future. So, Lu Chen was able to obtain the power of the Crane Afianor. The second type of reward is an additional reward. Literal meaning, extra, random. Not necessarily obtainable. This time, Lu Chen was lucky. Obtained this reward in the form of an angel, which is even more powerful than the passionate state of Hyofi Eno. The third type is upgrade rewards. Friends have levels. Ordinary friends. A confidant. Dear friend. I started as an ordinary friend. Through the improvement of relationships and emotions, the level can be further elevated by two levels, and each level can earn Lu Chen another reward. So, as long as Lu Chen keeps making friends and leveling up in this world, his strength will also rapidly improve, and he can be fearless of the potential dangers in this world. Strike while the iron is hot, and quickly increase the level of friends with Jie Hua. Coincidentally, she also needs help very much now, said Lu Chen. At this moment, Lu Chen left the room. It is worth mentioning. Although Lu Chen is dressed, perhaps it is due to a systematic relationship that he has an identity in this world. Longwa transfer students from Nagata Jiehua College. Friend. Is this a dream? In the slightly dimly lit room, Yuka Nagata held her phone in both hands and looked at the chat records on the screen, feeling very unreal. The unpopular self from childhood to adulthood. Surprisingly someone took the initiative to make friends with her. Also praising her beauty. People are handsome and gentle thinking about it, a faint blush appeared on the fair and beautiful face of the flower. Thinking about it, the flower's edge couldn't help but outline a sweet smile. However. Beautiful time is fleeting. Bang bang bang. A violent knocking on the door followed by a dissatisfied female voice. Hello. When are you going to sleep in? Upon hearing this, Jia Hua's delicate body trembled, her smile disappeared, and her face turned somewhat pale. Putting away his phone, he quickly stood up and said. Mom. I'll be out right away. Humph. The person outside the door snorted coldly. When Jie Hua opened the door, she saw a pair of eyes that did not conceal her coldness. Jie Hua pursed her mouth, lowered her head, and walked quickly towards the direction of the kitchen. She had to cook. After more than ten minutes, Jie Hua placed the prepared breakfast and gentle milk on the dining table. There are only three chairs next to the dining table. One is from his adoptive father. One is from an adoptive mother. There is one more it's for raising younger sister Daoko Nagata. Daozi, it's time to get up. The foster mother kindly and gently awakened Daozi from her dream. Mom, hey, mom is here. Nagata Michiko woke up and sat with his parents on a chair next to the dining table after washing up. Eating breakfast and drinking warm milk. Talking and laughing, it's very warm. It would be better to exclude Chang Tian Hua Hua, who stood aside and drank the porridge left last night. Of course, in the hearts of the three of Nagata Daozi. The term family. This is to eliminate the possibility of flower formation. Regarding this, Jiehua has no anger or dissatisfaction. She is used to it. Who let she was just adopted. After breakfast, Nagata Yuka and Nagata Daozi went to school together. Just Daozi Nagata will be picked up and dropped off by his parents. And to bear flowers, one can only walk on their own. So when Jiehua arrived at the school gate, Daozi Nagata was already waiting for her at the door. Beside her, there are also several girls of the same age who have gained beauty due to their heavy makeup. They are waiting for the flowers to bloom. However not in good faith. Seeing them, Jiehua clenched her simple clothes with both hands and lowered her head slightly. I want to get through this hurdle without being discovered. But. It's useless. Hey. Where do you want to go? Didn't you see us here? The girls proudly spoke out and asked. 
Jie Hua's body trembled and she stopped walking. Nagata Daozi and the other women quickly arrived in front of Jie Hua, and Daozi reached out his hand without saying a word. Jie Hua bit her lips, and finally sighed in her heart as she placed the money she earned from working in her pocket in Daozi's palm. Daozi smiled with satisfaction as she was about to leave, but suddenly thought of something, oh by the way. Although the handsome guy added your contact information yesterday, I advise you not to have any thoughts about him. You should be aware that you don't deserve it. At this moment, a series of exclamations of surprise rang out. Wow! It's that handsome guy from Dragon Country. He's really handsome. Chapter 2 Eating Blossoms Raise the level of friends with flowers. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Black broken hair, eyes like stars. Exquisite three-dimensional facial features and fair skin. Characterized by a refined demeanor and a well-dot-proportioned figure. At first glance, it looks like a person walking out of a manga, handsome and somewhat unreal. His name is Lu Chen, a transfer student from Longwa. Although it has only been around for three days. But he has become the male god of the entire school. Seeing him, Nagata Daozi and other women burst into sight and rushed towards Lu Chen's location. His expression was very fanatical. In this state, anyone blocking their way will be pushed and bumped into. Changtian blossoms first and foremost. Nagata Daozi felt that she was blocking the way and pushed her. Before Jiehua could stand firm, the other girls rushed towards her one after another. Poor Hua fell to the ground like this. Brother Lu Chen, I'm Daozi Nagata, nice to meet you, Daozi Nagata came to Lu Chen's side and said shyly. Lu Chen, are you thirsty or not? I can treat you to water if you're hungry. I can also treat you to eat me, Lu Chen, the male god, some are reserved, some are direct. But even though he was surrounded by countless girls, in Lu Chen's eyes, there was always only the pitiful person who was mercilessly knocked down on the ground. Lu Chen ignored the enthusiasm of Nagata Daozi and others, and rudely pushed them away. Then he quickly walked towards the flower. Upon seeing this, the smiles on the faces of Takako Nagata and others disappeared one after another, becoming somewhat unsightly. Jie Hua, are you okay? Have you been injured? Lu Chen helped Jie Hua up and asked with concern. Jie Hua didn't expect Lu Chen to come and help her while everyone was watching. And you care so much about yourself. Jie Hua's heart warmed, although there was some pain all over her body, compared to Lu Chen's concern. All the pain is not worth mentioning. A smile appeared on the beautiful and charming face that was not adorned with makeup, and she gently shook her head and said. I'm fine. After carefully scrutinizing and confirming that the flower was not causing any harm, Lu Chen looked at Nagata Daozi and others, his face slightly cold, and he spoke out. Apologize to Jie Hua. What? Do you want us to apologize to her? Nagata Daozi and others had a sudden change in their faces, suspecting that something was wrong with their ears. For them, Nagata Yuhua has always been a presence that can be easily bullied. Apologize to her. They don't want face. Don't do it. Why? Even if we are interested in you, apologizing to her is absolutely impossible. Nagata Daozi and others were full of gossip. In summary, their intention was only one, unwilling to apologize to Nagata Yuka. Classmate Lu Chen. Forget it. I'm really okay. As a victim, Jie Hua was aware that Lu Chen was venting her anger, but precisely because of this, she was unwilling to continue. Jie Hua doesn't want to cause conflicts between Lu Chen and Nagata Daozi because of herself. So being targeted by them. Upon hearing this, Daozi Nagata and others couldn't help but feel proud and gave Jie Hua a look of recognition, but what surprised everyone was that. However, Lu Chen did not stop there. Apologize. Lu Chen looked at Nagata Daozi and others coldly, his tone unquestionable. I should have apologized for hitting someone. 
Are you trying to make Dragon Kingdom's brother misunderstand that people in Sakura Kingdom are impolite? Just. After all, Nagata Daozi and others were only a small group of people surrounded by them. In addition to them, there were also many students. The vast majority of these students had a good impression of Lu Chen, and they had long been unhappy with Nagata Daozi and others, so they all spoke out at this time. You. You. Daozi Nagata and others were a bit panicked. If it's just Lu Chen and Jie Hua. Nagata Daozi and his team will never apologize. But on site, it's not just Lu Chen and Jie Hua. Faced with the criticism of others. After all, they are just students not long ago. I don't know who it was, but I was the first to speak. Sorry. With one, there will be two and more. The girls from Nagata Daozi bowed and apologized one after another to the knot flower. Sorry. Sorry. Even though they were unwilling in their hearts and their faces were filled with dissatisfaction, they did indeed apologize. Lu Chen initially felt that this was not enough and wanted to continue venting his anger for Jie Hua, but with the latter's pitiful plea, Lu Chen had no choice but to stop there. Leaving towards the courtyard with the help of Jie Hua. Looking at the distant figures of the two, the students were envious and gossiping. It seemed that Lu Chen liked this girl named Jie Hua. However, Daozi Nagata and others had an extremely ugly expression, this matter is not over. One of the women clenched her fist and said, let her join the club activity today as well. Upon hearing this, everyone understood her meaning. What if she doesn't want to do? Oh, which time did she want to? If you don't want to, just force it over. Listening to the conversation among the people beside him and looking at the backs of Jie Hua and Lu Chen, Nagata Daozi felt that just participating in club activities was not enough. After all, this slut just received special treatment that Nagata Daozi had not received. Suddenly, she thought of something. A cold smile appeared on the face. At this moment, someone around asked. Daozi, do you mind? After all, she is your sister in name. Shut up. I don't have such a sister. Wait, after today, these three words can be removed in name. Does your foot hurt? Lu Chen helped Jie Hua to a bench. After Jie Hua sat down, Lu Chen squatted down and still asked with concern. Right. There's a slight difference in the right foot. Not the flower in a low voice. Let me take a look. As Lu Chen spoke, he reached out his hands and untied Jie Hua's right shoelace. Jie Hua instinctively wanted to stop her, but she looked at Lu Chen's serious and caring face. She pursed her lips without speaking. Quickly, the shoelaces were untied, and the shoes and socks were gently taken off by Lu Chen. The girl's small feet caught the eye, like finely carved jade objects, smooth, fair, and symmetrical, with slender ankles and beautiful curves. Just looking at it, Lu Chen can't see any problems. So he directly asked Jie Hua. Where exactly does it hurt? Jie Hua blushed and shyly said. Ankles. Lu Chen nodded and said, it's impolite. Immediately, he reached out and gently grasped the flower's small foot, rubbing his fingers against the ankle. Moment an inexplicable electric current spread throughout Jie Hua's body. An experience that had never been experienced in the past twenty years almost made Jie Hua scream in surprise. Various flavors welled up in my heart at the same time. Speaking of which this is the first time in her life that Jie Hua has been rubbed by the opposite sex on her feet. She shyly glanced at Lu Chen. You can watch and see. But I couldn't help but fall for it. Handsome and popular, but willing to become friends with oneself, even standing out for oneself. Also and even press your own feet is this a dream? If it's really a dream, please please make sure not to wake me up. If this is reality then I will do anything for him. Just as Jie Hua was daydreaming, the system prompt sound also rang in Lu Chen's mind. Ding! Congratulations to the host and Nagata for improving their friend level and reaching the level of confidant. 
Ding. Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward. Hiopino. Dark Angel Form. Chapter 3 Basketball Club. Are you being bullied by flowers? Lu Chen. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Name. Dark Angel Form. Introduction. The evolution of the form of Hyofi Eno's power is even more powerful than the angel form. Lu Chen clearly felt a stronger energy emerging from his body, and he smiled slightly. This level has been elevated it's even easier than he imagined. No it should be said that it is not easy to improve, but it is easy to level up with flower. Turning to his senses, Lu Chen's hands were shrouded in a pure white light that was not easily noticeable to the naked eye. Just in an instant, the light disappeared. Lu Chen also released his hands and raised his head to look at Jie Hua's blushing face, asking. How do you feel now? No it doesn't hurt anymore. Jie Hua was a bit surprised. She didn't believe it and touched her ankle with her hand, but it really doesn't hurt anymore. It clearly hurt a lot just now. Lu Chen, thank you. Jie Hua looked at Lu Chen with both shyness and gratitude, although she didn't know why after Lu Chen rubbed her for a while, her ankles were completely painless. But anyway, it was Lu Chen who helped her. Don't be so polite, are we friends? Lu Chen smiled gently, his already handsome face appearing even more charming under the sunlight, and Hua became even more shy. My heart also instantly warmed. With the help of Lu Chen, Jie Hua's shoes and socks were put on again, and Jie Hua stood up. That. I'm going to class now. Can we still meet after class? Jie Hua asked nervously. Of course, as long as you want, Lu Chen reached out and touched her head. If you encounter danger or trouble, please notify me promptly. Aha. Uh -huh. Lu Chen, goodbye. After Jie Hua finished speaking, she turned back three times and reluctantly left, until her back completely disappeared from Lu Chen's sight before he left. Although he wants to leave this place and the home that doesn't belong to her directly with Jie Hua. But Flower is not yet completely hopeless and determined. Even if Lu Chen wants to take her away. She's afraid it's not easy for her to be willing either. So. Wait a little longer. Anyway very soon. After class, Jie Hua finished using the restroom and was walking up the stairs when several girls walked towards her. What makes the flower heart even more uneasy is. She knows these girls. It was the one who collided with her before and apologized. Also a member of the basketball club. Soon. These few girls surrounded Jie Hua. Do you. What's up with you? Jie Hua asked nervously. Jie Hua, haven't you been to the basketball club for a long time? One of the girls asked. I'm not feeling well, Jie Hua whispered as she didn't want to go to the basketball club. Ah. What? I can't understand what you're saying. Let's go, everyone is waiting for you. Yeah, come with us. Don't waste your time. The girls ignored their intention to tie flowers. Jie Hua pursed her mouth without moving. Humph, give you face, don't you want it? Then don't blame us. You have to go even if you don't go. The girls spoke coldly, their faces disdainful, and then they resorted to direct action, forcefully pulling and dragging the unwilling knot flower towards the basketball club activity room. Lu Chen. Where are you now? Jie Hua. Basketball club. As a close friend of Jie Hua, Lu Chen sends messages to Jie Hua almost every 10 minutes. The reason is simple, if Jie Hua is bullied, he can arrive at the scene as soon as possible. At this point. When you see these three words. Basketball club. Lu Chen's eyes narrowed slightly. As a traveler, he is clear about it. Jie Hua was forced to become a member of the basketball club. The other members of the club took pleasure in bullying Jie Hua, and she went to the basketball club that means. I'm going to be bullied. 
At this point, Lu Chen didn't say anything and immediately rushed to the activity room of the basketball club. The basketball, the size of a human head, drew a parabolic trajectory in the air and then accurately hit Not Flower's back, causing a dull thud sound and pain. Hey! Pick up the ball! The basketball was thrown by other members of the basketball club, and when it hit Jehua, they not only didn't apologize, but also urged Jehua to pick up the ball. Jiehua dare not be angry, let alone speak. She had a pale face and bit her mouth, honestly picking up the basketball and returning it to someone else. However, this is just the beginning. Bang! 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 Time and time again, basketball accurately hit Jiehua's delicate body, causing harm to her already weak and even unhealthy body. Head, shoulders, legs I was smashed all over my body. Even though the members of the basketball club were unapologetic after falling to the ground several times due to unstable standing, they had no apologies, after all it was intentional. Don't pretend to be dead, get up quickly. Wait, don't you think if you're lying on the ground, the basketball won't hit you? The leader of the basketball club came to Jehua with a basketball in his hand and jokingly said. Yeah, get up quickly. Other members are also in agreement and urging. Facing the basketball club members who clearly wanted to bully her, Jiehua dared not resist and stood up from the ground, enduring the pain all over her body. Just as he stood up, the tall leader in front of him threw a basketball with both hands. The target is the flower-shaped face. The distance is very close, and the strength is obviously not light. If it hits I dare not imagine. No no. Not Flower subconsciously shouted, her heart filled with fear and despair, so close. She can't hide at all. Just when everyone thought that Jehua was about to be attacked, a figure suddenly appeared in front of Jehua, moving like an instant. Stretching out his hands, he grabbed the basketball. Everyone also saw the appearance of the figure clearly. Exquisite facial features, sharp edges, and starry eyes, not the newly transferred student Lu Chen who else can it be? It's you again. The leader of the basketball club's president's face didn't look good, and this guy's repeated help turned into a flower. Even though his face looked good she is very unhappy. Unforgivable. However, before she could say anything, Lu Chen had already hit her face with a basketball without hesitation, and his dissatisfaction instantly turned into fear. What? Suddenly caught off guard, unable to react. Bang! Ah! It hit hard, and the president's mournful scream followed, but it's not over yet. Bang! 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 Lu Chen slammed the president's face and head a few more times, causing her to scream uncontrollably, with stars in her eyes, and finally it was even more like kicking it over. Center the president's abdomen. The indescribable force caused the president's body to fly uncontrollably, and finally collided fiercely with the hard wall of the activity room. When the president's body slid down the wall and fell to the ground, he was already bleeding from his mouth and nose. The whole person is indescribably miserable. The sudden change plunged the basketball club members around into a state of confusion. This what is the situation? How dare Lu Chen dare? Chapter 4 Full Scene Flash Sale Nagata Daozi's False Accusation You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Damn it! Damn it! Damn you! The president of the basketball club stood up unsteadily. Staring angrily at Lu Chen. Immediately shouting to the surrounding members. What are you still waiting for? Hit him. The members just woke up from their confused state and then all came towards Lu Chen and Jie Hua with a dissatisfied expression, daring to hit their boss. Is this guy living impatiently? Lu Chen, let's escape quickly. Jie Hua's already pale face turned even paler upon seeing this. Escape. They are the ones who should escape. Faced with the fierce encirclement of basketball club members. Lu Chen showed no fear or panic at all. With both hands thrown, 
the basketball in his hand exploded, hitting the closest member in the center. And the member immediately let out a pig-like scream, then fell to the ground in pain. Jie Hua, do you know why you have been constantly bullied? Lu Chen asked softly. Jie Hua shook her head. Although he didn't see her response because he was standing in front of Jie Hua, Lu Chen continued, because you are too kind and weak. For bad people, your kindness and softness will only tolerate them, but what will happen? Bad people often don't stop bullying you just because of this, but instead intensify it. So, the best way to avoid being bullied is to resist. Whoever bullies you, you bully them back. If you dare not, then I will replace you. However, the next scene. It may be a bit bloody. As the words fell, Lu Chen didn't wait for Jie Hua's response. Accompanied by a strange sound like a meat grinder, strange patterns appeared on Lu Chen's handsome face, what? The basketball club members who were gathered around stopped and looked at Lu Chen in confusion. But soon, the doubt turned into terror. Only see. Lu Chen's handsome face turned into a terrifying monster face in an instant, and his body also turned into a silver-white monster body, monster. Monster. The members' pupils suddenly shrank, their legs instinctively retreated, and the timid ones quickly turned around and ran towards the door, wanting to leave. Unfortunately. It's already late. Lu Chen reached out his hand, and Afaro transformed into an invisible big hand with the power of Noah. With a loud bang, he closed the door of the activity room and then stepped forward. Don't. Run quickly. Help. All members screamed and headed towards the door, but Lu Chen's grayish white body instantly turned into an abyssal black. On his back, four pairs of eight black wings grew, and Lu Chen extended his fingers to the crowd ahead, speaking indifferently. Go. The eight wings flapped, countless black feathers falling off and heading towards the members of the basketball club. Fast as lightning, feather-like sword. When these black feathers hit the members of the basketball club, each feather is like a sharp knife and sword, cutting through clothes and skin. Moment scars appeared one after another, screams kept ringing, and blood kept flowing out. With a thud, the president of the basketball club, who had already been hit several times by Lu Chen with his basketball and kicked again, was the first to lose support. She fell heavily to the ground. Puff. Another basketball club member fell to the ground and couldn't get up. The remaining members also followed closely behind. Not long after, the entire room collapsed except for Lu Chen and Jia Hua who were standing. And it is a lifeless fall. When Lu Chen regained his human form from the state of Afiino, the members of the basketball club turned their bodies into ashes, leaving no corpses behind. Lu Chen turned around to look at Xiang Jiehua. Facing him who is actually a monster. Jiehua not only did not retreat, but also actively approached and extended her hands to tightly embrace him. Lu Chen, you shouldn't have done such a thing for me. I, I'm not worth it. Lu Chen hesitated slightly and said. Are you not afraid? Jie Hua shook her head. She looked at Lu Chen with concern. I'm afraid. If you kill them, the police will definitely investigate you. If they catch you, I'll never see you again. Obviously, Jie Hua is afraid. It is the consequence of Lu Chen killing humans. Instead of being a monster himself. Lu Chen smiled from the bottom of his heart. His hands also embraced the knot flower. A beautiful woman in her arms, warm fragrance of soft jade. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Jiehua, I like you. I, I also like you. Just, Lu Chen, it's not the time to say these things now. Let's leave here quickly, right? After school, with the worry of never seeing Lu Chen again, Jia Hua walked towards home. I know that Lu Chen is a monster. Even a monster that kills without blinking an eye. She is not afraid either, willing to continue to be friends with Lu Chen, and even doesn't mind taking it any further. The reason is very simple. 
Nagata Daozi and his companions are human. Kuren has been bullying Jie Hua. Although Lu Chen is a monster. But he repeatedly helped her three times. The reason for killing those people in the basketball club. It's also for her. If Ji Hua stays away from Lu Chen because he is a monster, aren't Ji Hua and Nagata Daozi the same group of people? Where does she deserve to be Lu Chen's friend? So she is not afraid of Lu Chen. I hope nothing will happen. Jie Hua silently prayed, then looked at the house in front of her, took a deep breath and prepared to enter, only to find that the door was not closed. After walking into the house in confusion, I heard crying and said, Dad, Mom, you must make decisions for me. As I approached, I saw a family of three sitting on the sofa in the living room. The weeping person was none other than Daoko Nagata, whose parents sat on either side, showing concern and anger on their faces. Upon closer inspection, it will be noticed that there is a prominent scar on Nagata Michiko's face. The scars are clearly new. Fresh blood also flowed out from it. Dozi are you injured? As they were puzzled by the flowers, the three of Nagata Michiko, who heard the commotion, all focused their attention on the flowers and immediately, how dare you come back? Dozi's father stood up abruptly. His eyes were cold and his tone was full of anger. I. Jie Hua felt a bit confused. Our family provides you with food and drink, and you are able to live so much because of us. But now, you're actually hurting your sister. What a damn white-eyed wolf. The foster father roared uncontrollably. My foster mother didn't speak, but she also stared at me with cold and hateful eyes. Jehua instinctively took a step back and looked at Nagata Daozi, who gave her a proud look. In an instant, Jehua suddenly realized. She didn't harm Daozi. But either the achievements of others, or the scars intentionally created by Daozi himself, were used by Daozi as evidence of falsely accusing Jehua of bullying her. Jehua opened her mouth to explain, but her adoptive parents had no intention of listening. Get out of this house. My foster mother said coldly. Wait. Before leaving, I must give Daozi a good lesson. As the foster father spoke, he picked up an empty wine bottle on the ground and charged towards the flower. As Jiehua retreated, she kept shaking her head and said, It's not me. It's not me. Because of urgency, fear, and sadness. Tears quickly coalesced and burst into tears. Chapter 5 The Death of the Nagata Family Lu Chen's flower formation is truly. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. What do you want to do to her? At the door, just as the wine bottle in my foster father's hand was about to fall on Jie Hua's body, a indifferent voice rang out and he instinctively stopped moving. Immediately. Jie Hua and his adoptive father, as well as Nagata Daozi and his mother, both walked out of the house and looked at So Jen together. As a result, it was found that he is a young man with an unparalleled appearance. Neither the adoptive father nor the adoptive mother knew him, and their faces showed confusion, but Jiehua and Daozi instinctively shouted out his name in unison. Lu Chen. Yes. The young man in front of me is none other than Lu Chen. Daozi, do you know him? The adoptive father was even more puzzled and looked at Nagata Daozi in confusion. Hmm, the new transfer student from our school has a fondness for this woman. Daozi nodded and glanced at Jiehua, his tone sour. So is it a boyfriend with flowers? My foster father sneered and looked at Lu Chen, saying. I don't care what identity you and Jiehua are, but now, this is our Nagata family's matter. It's best for outsiders not to get involved. As he spoke, his adoptive father raised his wine bottle again and smashed it towards Jiehua. However, at this moment, Lu Chen, who was originally nearly ten meters away from him, suddenly appeared in front of him as if he were moving in an instant. Standing in front of Jiehua, Lu Chen reached out his hand and accurately grasped his adoptive father's wrist. What? You. My adoptive father's face changed, and he instinctively wanted to break free from Lu Chen's palm. 
However, no matter how hard he tried, Lu Chen's palm was like a pair of iron pliers, unable to break free at all. My heart was filled with momentary suspicion and uncertainty. The young man in front of me, who doesn't seem too young, possesses incredible speed and strength, just like not human. I am indeed an outsider, that's right. But ah! Do you really consider Jia Hua a part of your Nagata family? Lu Chen asked. Upon hearing this, the adoptive father's face darkened and he did not answer Lu Chen. Instead, he angrily shouted. Bastard! Let go of me now! Although the adoptive father did not answer. But at the scene, whether it's Jia Hua, Lu Chen, or the mother and daughter of Nagata Daozi, they all know the answer. Since you haven't considered Jiehua a part of the Nagata family, then I, as an outsider, can naturally intervene. Lu Chen's tone was indifferent. Before he could finish speaking, he reached out his other hand and slapped his adoptive father hard in the disbelief of the crowd at the scene, pop. The sound of applause was extremely loud. Half of the foster father's face instantly turned red. He stared at Lu Chen with wide eyes. You. Dare you hit me. Lu Chen smiled, but his smile was like a demon's smile, making people feel cold like falling into an ice cellar. Fight. I dare to kill you again, before his adoptive father could react, Lu Chen released his wrist again and slapped his other half of the face, causing both sides of his face to turn red. Well, now it's symmetrical. Damn it. Damn it. Having been slapped twice by someone younger than him in order to grow flowers, my adoptive father was extremely angry, and the pain on his face was secondary. The most important thing is shame. He was beaten in front of his daughter Daozi and wife, but this person is still making flowers. What a shame. Go to hell. My adoptive father waved the bottle and recklessly threw it at Lu Chen's head. Jie Hua was very worried when she saw this, as she was afraid that Lu Chen might get hurt. But her concern was purely overthinking. Accompanied by the sound of a meat grinder. Strange patterns appeared on Lu Chen's face. Immediately. In an instant, the human appearance was replaced by a dark angel monster form with four pairs of eight wings. When his foster father's bottle fell on Lu Chen's head, the bottle instantly shattered, and Lu Chen. No response. What? Monster. Monster. The originally handsome young man turned into a detestable monster. His adoptive father's face changed dramatically and he retreated in fear. Nagata Daozi and his mother were also shocked and widened their eyes. Monster. Lu Chen raised his hand and was about to end the lives of the Nagata family of three, but at that moment, Lu Chen. I'll do it. Are you sure? Lu Chen turned around to look at her as the sound of flowers bloomed, well, I want to make a decision on my own. Jie Hua nodded with a firm gaze. Since the Nagata family has never considered her a family member, then she there is no need to show mercy. Sure, but... Let me help you a little more. As Lu Chen spoke, a special energy beam condensed in his hand and flew into Jie Hua's body with a whoosh. Jie Hua's expression was taken aback. The next moment. Strange patterns appeared on her pretty face. Finally, the beautiful human girl's appearance transformed into an ugly and extremely terrifying monster, just like Lu Chen, according to human aesthetics. The difference is. Her body is grey-white. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully transforming CHA to 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 CHA T. This is one of the abilities that Lu Chen has already mastered, which has a 100% chance of transforming humans into Afieno. Nodding flowers. Is it also a monster? They are all monsters. Hurry up. Run away. The foster father, foster mother, and Nagata Daozi were all panicked, and they quickly turned around to escape the scene. Unfortunately how could they possibly escape? No need for Lu Chen to say anything more, 
Jiahua already understood how to exert the power of Afieno inside her body, and behind her appeared wings, only smaller and less than Lu Chen's. Wings flapping, feet landing. Jiahua burst out and headed straight for the Nagata family. At the same time, countless white feathers fell from the sky, like snow mixed with a few faint screams. The snow stopped and the flower feet stood on the ground. After releasing Afieno's form, she looked at the bodies of Nagata Michiko and the three others. There is no sadness in my heart. Instead, it's easy. Yes easy. Da da da. The sound of leisurely footsteps rang out, and Jiahua turned around to look over. What caught the eye was Lu Chen, who had also lifted the form of Afieno. Jiahua directly reached out her hands and threw herself at him, then tightly hugged Lu Chen, I. I don't have a family anymore. Lu Chen smiled slightly and reached out his hand to gently touch Jia Hua's head. Who said that? Am I not your family? From now on, I will be your family, and wherever we are, we will be at home. Upon hearing this, Jia Hua's delicate body trembled lightly. Moved, she lifted her head and met Lu Chen's four eyes, and then a beautiful smile appeared on her somewhat pale pretty face. Mmm. We. Our family. True family. Lu Chen smiled contentedly, looked at the beautiful flower, slowly lowered his head, and leaned in under the other person's hopeful yet shy gaze Jia Hua did not refuse, but instead held Lu Chen's hands harder and tighter. At the height of their emotions, the two entered the Nagata family. After closing the door for a while, the rhythmic and beautiful sound of the piano began. When Lu Chen and Jia Hua truly became family, the system prompt sound rang in Lu Chen's mind. Ding! Congratulations on the upgrade of the host and Nagata's friend level, current best friend level. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining 100% loyalty from their close friend Nagata Yuhua. Ding! Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward. Final form of Hiafino. Archangel form. Ding. Congratulations to the host's close friend Koda Yuhua for receiving friend feedback. Angel form. Ding. Congratulations to the host for reaching the highest level of friendship with Nagata Yuhua. Please continue to work hard and become friends with more characters. Chapter 6 Brave Governance of the Botanical Woodyard Change of Ownership at Home You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The next day, Lu Chen and Nagata Yuhua had already left Nagata's home and did not go to school. In their current identity, there is no need to attend classes anymore. Just, Lu Chen, where are we going now? Jia Hua asked curiously, and Lu Chen responded with a light smile, find more family members. He already has a goal. It is the same tragic fate of Kamacho Kikumasa Yoshimasa, who shared the same fate in 555. If nothing unexpected happens. The current Machang Yongji. It should still be in the hospital within the hospital. The heart monitor next to a hospital bed returned to a straight line and emitted a sharp and piercing warning sound. After the doctor rushed to check the vital signs. She shook her head helplessly and sighed repeatedly. The nurse's eyes were incredulous, unable to believe that such a young life had not survived. But in order to maintain the dignity of the deceased, we still found a white cloth to cover him. While she was covering the white cloth, her hands suddenly grabbed the nurse's slender and tender wrists. The nurse was frightened and screamed loudly. Ah! Fake. Fake the corpse. Don't shout. Yuji Kichichang has just woken up. I just feel that the sound is extremely piercing. After the nurse regained consciousness, she confirmed that the wooden yard on the hospital bed was not a ghost but a human. Stumbling and running out of the hospital room. Immediately, a group of medical staff rushed over. After the doctor who previously believed that Yoshitaka Kichichang was hopeless re-examined him. Surprisingly, it was discovered that the vital signs of Yuji Machang were now the same as those of a normal person know. 
It should be higher than a normal person. Healthier. This made the doctor couldn't help but wonder. What a strange thing. What kind of situation is this? Is it shining again? The doctor did not believe in evil and checked again. After confirming everything was correct, he looked up at Yuji Machang and said, You're fine now. You can be discharged at any time, but I suggest you stay in the hospital for another two days of observation. It's too strange. Upon hearing this, the wooden yard on the hospital bed nodded in a wooden tone. After looking around the white and clean ward, he turned his head and looked out the window. At this moment, my mind is in chaos. Very confused I don't know how long I've been watching like this. Seeing the doctors and nurses leave. See two young men and women appeared. They are all young, but they all have a perfect appearance, especially that young man. Moreover, it made Yuji Kichicheng suspect that he was not a real person, but an illusion he had seen. The mysterious man and woman walked into the ward carrying a fruit basket and came to the wooden field in front of Yongji. The woman curiously scrutinized the wooden yard's Yongji. And the man has a smile on his face. Much on Yongji, right? Are you? Yoshimasa frowned and looked at these two unfamiliar faces with caution. Although his brain is not very good now. But I don't remember these two people. The young man smiled and said, Don't be nervous, my name is Lu Chen. I have a premonition that next, we will become friends or companions. I'm Jie Hua. Jie Hua stood next to Lu Chen and whispered. Lu Chen. Blossoming. It's really hammered indeed, they are all strangers. What are you? Asking me for. Although I know their names. Kumachang Yongji still has doubts. Let's put it aside beforehand, Lu Chen said as he looked at Machang Yongji. You must have something you want to do now, right? We can come with you. Although Yuji Machang is not clear about the situation. But there is indeed something I want to do in my heart. That's go home. Quickly completing some procedures, Yuji Machang stepped out of the hospital bed and went home with his newly acquainted Lu Chen and Jia Hua according to the route in his memory. The buildings along the way have changed a lot, but fortunately there hasn't been much change at home. Arriving at the doorstep, while Yongji was preparing to push open the door and walk in, suddenly a stranger woman pushed open the door and walked out of the room. Is this the Machang family? Yongji was stunned and looked at the woman's unfamiliar face, feeling puzzled and questioning. The woman nodded with a smile and replied, This is the Matsuda family. May I ask who you are? Yongji felt strange and looked around. I am increasingly certain that this is his home. But why did the house suddenly change its owner? What exactly happened during this period? I just feel a myriad of things. Causing annoyance. Suddenly, Kichichang Yoshimasa came up with a question. He looked at Lu Chen and nervously asked, How many years is it now? Now is two years after you fell into a car accident and became a vegetative, Lu Chen responded softly. Two years later. Really? Yongji looked at Jiehua and she quickly nodded. Although it is now two years from now, my parents also passed away in a car accident. But even so, the original home shouldn't have been changed. Perhaps you can ask your relatives, Lu Chen gave a hint. Kichichang Yoshimasa's eyes lit up, relative. Yes. Relatives. Yuji Kichichang has relatives. The closest is the best relationship. It's his uncle's family. Uncle has been very kind to him since childhood. Every time I come home, I always bring him some delicious snacks and fresh and interesting little things. He must know what happened. At this moment, Yuji Machang no longer hesitated. Immediately rush in one direction. Upon seeing this, Lu Chen shook his head and chuckled. He then looked at Jia Hua beside him, took her tender white hand, and gently said, Let's go too. Mmm. Jia Hua's face blushed slightly. 
Immediately, the two of them caught up with Machang Yongji at an inhuman speed. In the evening, Machang Yongji arrived at the destination with Lu Chen and Jie Hua. Uncle's House Machang Yongji stood at the entrance of his uncle's house. Looking around, I saw that the pattern of the houses in front of me was the same as before, even the flowers in the backyard were the same as before, and even the sign on the door was still the wooden yard house. Machang Yongji couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief, and then in the encouraging eyes of Lu Chen and Jie Hua, he reached out and pressed the doorbell, and the door quickly opened. The person opening the door is a young man. Are you? Who are you? Upon seeing the familiar yet unfamiliar figure of Kichichang Yoshimasa appearing before his eyes, the young man's pupils shrank sharply, his face filled with a look of fear, and his legs retreated. Cousin, I'm Yongji. Machang Yongji showed a simple and sincere smile. Surprisingly is it really him? Damn it, aren't those doctors saying that the likelihood of waking up is almost zero? My cousin named Kichichang Ichiro was very dissatisfied and surprised in his heart, but on the surface, he showed an unnatural surprised smile and said, Yongji, how are you? Well, cousin, I have something to ask my uncle about. Is he at home now? Kichichang Ichiro glanced back or received a promise, about to respond, but noticed Lu Chen and Ji Hua behind Kichichang Yoshimasa. Yongji, are they? Kichichang frowned and kept looking at the two with his eyes. They can be considered. My friends, Yoshimasa hesitated for a moment and said, while at the same time, a system prompt sounded in Lu Chen's mind. Ding! Congratulations to the host and Machang Yongji for becoming friends and receiving the character reward. Mahofiai Enoch Power, which includes four forms. Fighting, brisk walking, passion, and passionate brisk walking. Ding! Congratulations to the host for receiving additional rewards. Double damage to enemies. Chapter 7 It's inconvenient to live at home. The truth of the matter. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Friends. I see. Muchung nodded and raised his hand to let them in, although he didn't ask any further questions. But his eyes were constantly scrutinizing the two of them, as he had never seen them before. Did Yongji make friends as soon as he woke up? Is this a bit strange? Although Kichichang Ichiro was still very uneasy, he still greeted them to sit down. At this moment, there was not only one person in the room, but also his father. Uncle of Machang Yongji. Machang Yizhang went to the back to brew tea for them all, and Lu Chen and the others sat in front of Uncle Yongji, looking at his amiable uncle. Uncle, I just went home, but why did the house change people, said Yoshimasa Yoshimasa in an impatient voice, Yongji, you don't know. In the car accident you had before, Although your family suffered heavy injuries, the division of responsibility was that you had more responsibility and had to pay a lot of money. In addition, your father's company already owed some loans. In order to repay our debt, we had to sell our house and your father's company on our own initiative. Uncle's kind face showed an expression of embarrassment, and his tone explained the background with a heavy tone. How could it be? Yongji felt a bit uncomfortable for a while. He lost his parents in this car accident and also fell asleep for two full years. Now when he woke up, he had nothing, and Yongji felt that the whole world was spinning around. He hurriedly supported the table with his hands, but it didn't completely collapse. At this moment, Machang Yizhang slowly walked over, holding the brewed tea and saying, Yongji, I know you have just been discharged from the hospital and your health is not good. It's difficult to endure without a place to go. As my cousin, I also really want to help you, but I'm getting married soon, and it wouldn't be convenient for you to stay at our house. Shut up. How can you speak? Uncle instinctively frowned upon hearing his son's words, his eyes full of displeasure, and couldn't help but scold. Then he turned his head and showed a kind and amiable smile again, looking at Yuji Kichichang and saying, as elders, Yongji has just come to his senses, and it is the most difficult time. 
no matter how difficult we are ourselves, we must give our all to help him. Yongji, you can rest assured. Upon hearing the words of the father and son, Yongji's face froze, and his already somewhat pale face turned even whiter, making him appear extremely pitiful. It seems like it's about to fall apart in the next second. He doesn't know if his uncle is sincere. But one thing is very obvious. Cousin not very welcoming to him. Jiehua looked at the wooden yardi Zhang and then at Yongji's uncle. Subconsciously, she reached out and hugged Lu Chen's arm tightly, perhaps due to an illusion. She feels. The two people in front of her feel like their adoptive father's family towards Yoshihiro Kichicheng it cannot be said to be completely similar. But very similar. Lu Chen reached out and gently patted the fragrant shoulder of Jiehua, giving her peace of mind with a gentle smile. After a long silence, Yuji Muchong managed to squeeze out a smile that was not particularly attractive. No need, uncle. It's not easy for everyone. I don't want to cause you any trouble. Sorry to bother you today. As the words fell, Muchong Yongji turned around and left, followed closely by Lu Chen and Jiehua. None of the three drank tea. Watching their backs leave, the father and son who were still staying in the house breathed a clear sigh of relief, and then uncle glared at the wooden yard. You speak too directly. However, it's better to just click on it. At least that kid. On the way out, Yuji Machang walked forward like a walking corpse, his mind in chaos. He doesn't know what to do next. Where to go and what to do. At this moment, Lu Chen spoke out. Do you believe what they say? Muchang Yongji regained his senses and stopped to look at Lu Chen in confusion, what does that mean? Lu Chen smiled slightly and said, don't talk, listen carefully, listen attentively, you will understand. Upon hearing this, Kichicheng Yoshimasa became even more puzzled. But soon. Suddenly, a dialogue sounded. How long can Yongji keep it hidden from us? If he knew that we had embezzled their property, he would definitely not give up easily. I used to say we had to kill him. It's better now. Ah, you're right. Why did he still wake up? The doctor clearly said that the chance of him waking up is very small. Is this the voice of my cousin and uncle? The sound of this conversation was heard and sounded by Yoshimasa Kimura, who didn't know how. From the ear. From the mind. From within. But no matter what, it's obvious. He just heard it. It is indeed the voice of my cousin and uncle. And compared to how I heard it. What even more unbelievable was the content of the conversation, as he had just realized that he and his family were causing trouble for his uncle's family. He was sorry to continue disturbing him. It can be seen from the content of the conversation. The matter is obviously not that simple. If it's true Muchang Yongji was so angry that he clenched his fist tightly. Seeing this, the smile on Lu Chen's handsome face became even more prominent, and he also heard it, not only him and Yongji, but also Jiehua. And. The conversation is still ongoing. But don't worry, do you think even if you don't think it's right with his current situation of having no relatives, who can you turn to for evidence? You know, it's been two years and the world has already changed. It's useless for him to know. Uncle's voice rang out. Next came the laughter of the father and son. I don't know if I'm feeling proud or mocking the naivety and helplessness of Kikumasa Yoshimasa. Anger surged in his heart, and Kikumasa Yoshimasa trembled with anger. He murmured to himself, unwilling to believe it, no impossible. Do you want to go back? Lu Chen asked with a wicked smile. Muchang Yongji didn't speak, but turned around and ran towards his uncle's house. Lu Chen shook his head and chuckled, then picked up his flower-tied little hand and followed slowly. Seeking a wave of data, the more flowers and evaluation tickets there are, the better. We know that everyone does not want to have data at the end of each chapter, so the author is seeking this one. 
In addition, regarding rewards, the latest forms of Foyza's abilities, and so on, everyone can provide some inspiration and suggestions. Thank you for your support. Chapter 8 The Anger of Machang Yongji Declare Sovereignty You are listening at NovelFull.audio When he arrived not far from his uncle's house, Yuji Machang saw a familiar shadow. Kikicheng Yongji was taken aback and quickly walked forward. When he saw the other person's appearance, he saw the familiar face he had been thinking about for a long time. He was excited and his eyes were filled with tears of joy. Chi Hui The woman named Xian Hui was momentarily stunned when she saw the wooden fields Yongji. Immediately, a hint of panic flashed on her face, but she quickly calmed down and swallowed. Turning to a strange and indifferent expression, he said. Sorry, you have mistaken the wrong person. Machang Yongji was taken aback and his face was puzzled. Did you admit your mistake? But how can there be two people who look exactly the same in this world? The person in front of me is clearly Sengxia Qianhui. Clearly, she is her own girlfriend. If it weren't for a car accident, he would have married Qianhui now. But why is the other party unwilling to recognize him? Lu Chen and Jia Hua stood behind them holding hands, silently watching the play without saying anything. Just as Yoshimasa was puzzled, the people in the house heard a commotion. Immediately, the door of my uncle's house suddenly opened, and the ordinary appearance of Kichicheng Yoshimasa's cousin Kichicheng Ichiro appeared in everyone's sight. Machang Ichiro saw everyone outside the house. After being stunned for a few seconds, I immediately saw Senki Moriya and walked out without hesitation. Arrived beside Moriya Qianhui, he hugged her and stood in front of Murakami Yoshimasa. Declare sovereignty. And Sengxia Qianhui there is no refusal or unwillingness. Upon seeing this scene, even if he didn't understand it anymore, Yuji Kichicheng understood that this woman now belongs to his cousin Ichiro Kichicheng. Can difficult to accept. I can't believe it. Why is the girlfriend who is about to marry her with her cousin? Kichicheng Yoshimasa gritted his teeth and looked at Kichicheng Ichiro, then asked in a deep voice, Did you embezzle our property? Upon hearing this, Kichicheng Akira instinctively said, How did you know? It's a real hammer. The wooden yard's face changed as he reacted, but soon he showed a proud smile again. What if I know? Do you have any evidence? Now that your girlfriends are all mine, is it meaningful to dwell on these things? Why not think carefully about how you will live your life in the future? If it weren't for our family's kindness and continuous payment to the hospital to maintain your vital signs, would you still have a day to wake up? So don't hate our family either, we've done enough fun. If you really can't survive and will starve to death in the future, as your cousin, I won't stand idly by, of course. The premise is, don't do anything that disgusts us, just leave. After speaking, Kichicheng Ichiro had no interest in taking another look at Kichicheng Yongji. He wanted to talk about Lu Chen and Jie Hua. He still has some interest. But Kichicheng Yoshimasa, this cousin please, can you get away from me? Without waiting for a response from Kayomesa Yoshimasa, Kayomesa Ichiro hugged Moriya Chihiro and walked towards the house. His expression, his words, and the inexplicable and resistant reaction of Senki Moriya all of this made Yuji Machang tremble with anger and clench his hands tightly into fists. Nails pierce into the flesh, blood flows out. He didn't feel any pain. Because compared to physical pain, his heart it hurts even more. Why? Why do you treat me like this? Machang Yongji shouted angrily in his heart. At this moment, a strange pattern appeared on his face, and in an instant, the pattern covered his face, transforming Kikumasa Yoshimasa's entire appearance. The head turned into a horse's head, and the body turned gray and white, transforming into Afiino, who looked like a horse. Hey! See this! Jie Hua covered her small mouth in surprise. Then he looked at Lu Chen beside him. Originally, this wooden field Yongji was also Afiino, 
no wonder Lu Chen came to find him my background is somewhat tragic. It's Afiino again. For Lu Chen and Jie Hua. Indeed, they are friends, family, and companions. Muchang Yongji, who had been overwhelmed by anger and hatred, did not pay attention to the thoughts and thoughts of Lu Chen and the others. He let out a roar and ran towards his uncle's house, quickly breaking through the door. At this moment, uncle, Kichichang Ichiro, and Senki Moriya were all in the house, chatting about something. Seeing the monster with a horse head and a human body suddenly breaking through the door, all three of them were immediately frightened. Monster! Monster! Uncle just let out a scream, and Muchang Yongji punched the opponent hard in the chest. The strong force immediately sent uncle's entire body flying out, hitting the hard wall before stopping. As soon as he slid down the wall and fell to the ground, he spat out blood. With frightened and unwilling eyes, Yongji looked at the wooden field again and again, wanting to say something, but in the end, he was unable to close his eyes and lost his vitality. My cousin Muchong was furious when he saw this. Immediately, he quickly flipped through the window and started the motorcycle in the yard, intending to drive and kill the monster. Upon hearing the commotion, Yoshimasa turned his head and in an instant, he transformed into a galloping state of Mahofiai Ino. Fighting posture refers to the head of a horse and the body of a person. And the galloping posture is like a horse's head and body. He had four legs on his lower body, and his body was even larger. Although he was larger, his speed was even stronger than fighting. In just an instant, he came from the house to the yard outside the house. Go to hell. Kichichang Ichiro angrily drove his motorcycle towards Kichichang Yoshimasa, but unfortunately. Chapter 9 Kill Uncle and Kichichang Ichiro Tienma You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The locomotive collided with the body of Yoshimasa in the wooden yard, but did not cause any harm to the latter. Instead, the locomotive's attack came to a sudden halt. Unable to go further. Yoshimasa Yoshimasa's mind twitched as he magically transformed into a sharp long sword in his hand. This is the exclusive weapon of Mafieno. Steed Magic Sword. Holding a magic sword, Kikumasa Yoshimasa showed no mercy and struck through his heart with a sword in Kikumasa's frightened gaze. At the moment when the blade pierced through his heart, the heart of Kichika Jichiro disappeared out of thin air, and his vitality naturally came to an abrupt end like the attack on the airport. At the moment when the sword was stabbed in, Murakami Yoshimasa felt all kinds of negative effects such as unwillingness, anger, and grievances in his heart being vented. Also at this time, he regained consciousness. At the door of the house, Chihiro Moriya witnessed with her own eyes the horse-shaped monster killing her uncle and Ichiro Kichichain. When the monster turned to look at her. When the forest descends, the delicate body trembles. His face turned pale, trembling with fear, and he was clearly quite frightened. He kept pleading and saying. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Kikachang Yoshimasa took a deep look at Sengsia Kiyoshi and then headed towards the distance. Looking at its back, it feels a bit lonely. Upon seeing this, Sengsia Qianhui gasped heavily for breath and immediately passed out. On the street not far from my uncle's house. Muchang Yongji walked lonely forward. Aimless, lost in soul. Lu Chen and Jie Hua followed behind him. They didn't speak because the current Muchang Yongji. You need to be calm and composed on your own. After a long time, Yuji Muchang stopped and turned to look at Lu Chen and Jie Hua. Do you already know? Jie Hua looked at Lu Chen beside her, she didn't know anything, but her man it should have been known for a long time. Lu Chen smiled without hesitation. And this non-response, in the eyes of Yoshimasa Yoshimasa and Kyowa, is a tacit acceptance. Why do you need to help me? Yoshimasa asked in a hoarse voice. He had nothing left now, and these two people came to find him and help him what else can we get? Why? Lu Chen chuckled lightly. Didn't you say that? We are friends. 
We are both friends and help each other. It should be. Upon hearing this, Murakami Yongji looked earnestly at Lu Chen, who had a sincere and friendly expression, tone, and gaze. Friend just, are you not afraid of me? What Kikachang Yoshimasa refers to is that he just transformed into a monster and killed a person. Afraid. If you're afraid, it's probably because you're afraid of us, Lu Chen said, exchanging a glance with Jia Hua, and patterns appeared on their faces. The aura and power of Afieno were revealed, and Kikumasa Yoshimasa's pupils shrank as he suddenly said. So it's like this. These two people, just like myself. It's a monster. Although I am not sure about the situation yet, I have nothing to lose now. Since we are of the same kind, then. In the future. Please stay tuned. Kichiya Yoshimasa took a deep breath, his pale and honest face forced out a shy smile. At the same time. The system prompt sounds in Lu Chen's mind. Ding. Congratulations to the host and Machang Yongji for improving their friend level. Reaching the level of confidant. Dot. Ding. Congratulations to the host for receiving the reward. Mile Fino evolves into a new form. Heavenly Horse State. Name. Tianma State. Introduction. The evolutionary form of Ma Fieno is even more powerful than the passionate sprint state. In the evening, Yuji Machang did not return to the hospital. I didn't go anywhere else either. But instead, he followed Lu Chen and Jie Hua to open two rooms in a hotel. When he saw Lu Chen and Jie Hua enter one of the rooms with his own eyes and couldn't sleep at night due to the noise. Kichichang Yoshimasa understood two things. Firstly, the relationship between Lu Chen and Jie Hua. Secondly, in the future, one should never sleep next to a room with two people it's too noisy. More importantly. In this situation, Yuji Kichichang would uncontrollably think of his ex-girlfriend Chiawi Moriya he couldn't help but shed tears when he thought about how the once beloved ones had turned out to be. A room is filled with a pink ambiguous atmosphere. In the other room, it was lonely and sad a wall separates heaven and earth. Time flies by in a hurry. In the blink of an eye, the next day arrived. With dark circles under his eyes, Yuji Machang was having breakfast at a hotel with Lu Chen and Jie Hua. The TV next to it is broadcasting news. And the content of the news. It is related to Machang Yongji. Last night, the case of Shang Mu Chang's house being shut down. Because only Qian Hui Moria survived at the scene, and according to her, Ichiro Kichichang and his father were killed by a grey-white monster with a horse head and a human body, which is too outrageous. So now, Senki Moria has been suspected by the police as the culprit. Upon seeing this, Yuji Kichichang was moved in his heart. Although Qian Hui Moria betrayed him. But when I think of their past of loving each other. Machang Yongji didn't want anything to happen to Moria Qian Hui, so he didn't finish his meal and rushed to his uncle's house without stopping. I want to comfort and help Sengxia Qian Hui. Even. He is willing to turn himself in when Yoshimasa Murakami arrived at the scene, he saw Chihiro Moria being surrounded by police officers inquiring, and her expression was extremely haggard. Qian Hui, are you okay? Kichichang Yoshimasa quickly walked forward and asked with concern and concern. When Moria Qian Hui saw him, she was stunned for a moment, and then her eyes lit up. In front of the crowd of police officers, he pointed excitedly at the wooden yard and shouted loudly. He is the culprit. Uncle and my boyfriend got hold of him for handling their company and all their properties without permission. He just woke up from the hospital yesterday. After coming over, Uncle and Yijang died. Who else could it be if it weren't him? Chapter 10 Killing the Forest and Descending the Thousand Benefits Yuan Tian Truth Lewd You are listening at NovelFull.audio After she finished speaking, she felt so guilty that she didn't dare to look at the nearby wooden yard Yuji. Moria Qianhui naturally knew that he had killed these two people last night, 
monster that looked very much like a horse. But this matter is really unbelievable. She said that neither police nor ordinary people believe it, so why not find someone more suspicious? And much on Yongji no matter how good it is. After all, no matter how you look at it, Yoshimasa Kichichang has a stronger motive to kill than himself. Anyway, if he is truly innocent, the police will naturally not make things difficult for him, even if it is really difficult, at least I can be safe now, Maria Qianhui thought to herself. And upon hearing her words, all the police T's gaze converged on the body of Yuji Machang. The latter went from a face full of worries to disbelief, and finally turned into a face as pale as ashes. He knows. Last night, Qianhui Maria did not see herself turn into a monster, so she falsely accused him without knowing the truth although it cannot be considered a pure false accusation. But it's really heartless Kikumasa Yoshimasa hugged his head with both hands and his emotions completely collapsed. He didn't expect his girlfriend, who had been with him for so long, to be just as selfish as his uncle's family. He was desperate. Ah! Machang Yongji shouted loudly, turned around, and ran towards the distance. With this run, the police immediately realized something was wrong and quickly called out to chase him together, all believing that he was the culprit. But Yuji Machang was like a wind blowing under his feet, and soon disappeared without a trace. After all the police officers left, Senki Moriya fell and sat on the ground. I breathed a long sigh of relief. She finally cleared the suspicion. Even if the person was not killed by him, the suspicion of Machang Yongji's run would definitely be much greater than hers. And in the next second, her remaining light suddenly saw a grey-white figure. She lifted her head and looked up, her face instantly turned pale with fear, her horse head and body isn't this the monster from last night. Sengxia Qianhui was frightened and retreated in succession. Just as I was about to call for help, the next second my long sword pierced through my heart. Qianhui Maria's eyes were filled with tears, and her face was written with disbelief. Didn't this monster have already let her go last night? Why did you suddenly appear and kill her again even if Maria Qianhui is no longer willing, she can only end up with resentment. But the monster didn't even glance at her, so it left here without looking back. When Machang Yongji lost his soul and returned to the hotel, Lu Chen and Jie Hua were still chatting and laughing leisurely for breakfast, and he sat back in a chair. Looking at Lu Chen Dao. We. What are we going to do next? Lu Chen keenly smelled the bloody smell on Machang Yongji's body, and he knew that someone dead. However, this has nothing to do with him. Lu Chen smiled slightly and reached out his hand to gently touch the head of touching knot flower, then said. What are you doing? Find more people like us. They will be our friends, our family, our companions. On the way to Tokyo, a young girl with a baby's chubby and cute face, neck length, and short hair was driving a motorcycle rapidly. The speed has reached its limit. The reason why the girl is like this is that she has an urgent matter and needs to rush to Tokyo City as soon as possible. Secondly she was targeted by someone. It's three unfamiliar young people. Hey! What are you doing running so fast for? We're not trying to harm you. Yeah, my brothers will treat you well and give you everything you need to eat and drink. Behind the young girl named Yuan Tian Shinrikyo, there were three young men riding sedans. They had a mischievous smile on their faces, their eyes fixed on the truth in the garden, and they kept shouting loudly. Upon hearing the words of the three people behind him, Shinji Arata gritted his teeth and said unhappily. Get lost. Don't follow me anymore. Yuan Tian's dissatisfied words did not make the three young people retreat, but instead caused them to burst into laughter, with both ugly and lewd smiles. Anyway, no matter what Yuan Tian Shinji said, no matter what mood she had, they just kept pestering her. The three of them didn't even care about insults, insults, and threats, or rather it's taken for granted. At this moment, the man in blue in the middle seemed unwilling to continue his ink stains and twisted his hand. The speed of the locomotive has skyrocketed again. 
In an instant, he caught up with the truth of Yuan Tian. Immediately after, the lewd smile on her face became even more prominent, with one hand driving, while the other hand reached out to reach out to Yuan Tian truth, wanting to touch her. Get out of here. Yukaida Shinji quickly drove the motorcycle to dodge to the side, both disgusted and afraid. After all, she is just one person. Still a girl. In terms of numbers and strength. She is not a match for these three people. If they come strong she can't be an opponent at all. So. Never be caught up with. At this moment, Yuzuru Arata's motorcycle speed skyrocketed again, constantly adjusting its direction of movement to avoid and block the three of them. So, in the thrilling pursuit. A small roadside restaurant appeared in front of the four people, and there was no doubt that there were other people here. And with others around, these three men should not dare to do anything. Thinking of this, Yukaida Shinji felt a little relieved in her heart. Quickly arrived at the restaurant entrance, stopped the car, stepped on the ground with both feet, and turned to see those three annoying faces retreating without realizing the difficulties. The good mood was suddenly diluted, and he pouted, feeling very dissatisfied. With a cold snort, he put on his backpack and walked into the restaurant first. The three men exchanged a glance. Following closely behind.